Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Luma. If you don't already know me, I make pet talks on this channel and I just love being, you know, that reassuring person on here that can share my knowledge and give advice and, you know, help you guys with whatever you might be dealing with. And today I'm making a video on how to completely get over somebody. I decided not to go with a sponsor for today's video, but I wanted to just really quickly plug myself and say if you love my videos and you love me, I actually have a jewelry brand that I really quickly wanted to mention before we get into today's video. It's really special because you can customize your own pieces, so you can get necklaces that say your name or your partner's name or a friend's name or your mom's name. It's the best present idea ever um, and I decided that I wanted to come up with my own brand because I love customizing my own jewelry. I just wanted to be able to make something that other people would love as well. It would mean the world if you guys you know, were looking for some cute jewelry and would order from my website. I'm going to leave the link in my description. This is my website here. If you guys are interested, that would be amazing. I would love to see your orders pop up. I'd love to package all your orders and send everything out. Anyway. Let's get into today's video. If you don't know me and you haven't watched any of my videos, I'm just gonna kind of talk about something really quickly. Um, I've actually made two other videos regarding the topic of breakups. So my first video was documenting three months of heartbreak and as I say in the title, I literally sat there and documented a little bit of every single day. Honestly, I was going through a really difficult breakup with somebody that I lived with and he was like my first real love and I stayed with him for a few years so it was really difficult for me and I was going through it in the lockdown so I had nothing to do. So I literally sat there and recorded a bit of every single day. Maybe to some people it sounds super emo, but if you've never gone through a really painful breakup, you won't understand. Breakups make you do ridiculous things when you're going through it. Our emotions can really take control over everything and it just makes us do ridiculous things. At the time, I felt like I was never going to get over this person. I had nothing else to do and I thought, I might as well just film these videos. And when I put them together and I sat back and I watched it with a friend actually, um, I wasn't expecting to post it. I, I had no intention to post it, but my friend was like, you need to post this. This could help so many people. If you told me that that video would be one of the biggest videos on YouTube helping people get through a breakup, I would not believe it. I cannot believe that that video has over a million views. That breakup was like some life-changing shit. I felt like I was never going to get over that person. I thought that I was never gonna be okay. You feel like you're so tied to someone especially when you live with them or when you hang out with them all the time or you talk to them all the time. Going from that to not having it anymore, especially when it wasn't your decision and when it's something that you had no idea was coming and it was very abrupt, is difficult. It's very difficult. I felt like I was going through a whole divorce. I'm not gonna lie. I do want to mention, as much as I love being that person that reassures you guys, there's nothing more that I could say than what's in this video and my other two videos. I can't really give you anything other than what I put in these videos because these videos take a lot of time and effort and yeah, I kind of just wanted to say that. I just see so many DMs all the time and it's like, I can't really reply to you guys about it, but that's why I make these videos. Um, I'm kind of putting an end to the whole breakup topic just because I have so many other things I want to talk about and it's kind of a topic that doesn't really resonate with me. But hey, don't be sad. I have two other videos and this video. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly say all of that. Today's video, how to get over somebody completely. A partner should complement your life. They should by no means define your happiness self-esteem or confidence especially somebody as amazing as you every single one of you is unique is beautiful and is worthy and deserving of love let's just affirm that for a second and believe it it's so beautiful that we can love so hard and we can you know really hold one person on this pedestal and think that they're the only person for us but at the same time it's kind of a toxic way to think because at the end of the day i always say this they're 
are 7 billion people on this planet and it takes one person to love you the way that you need to be loved. I make these videos because I want to give you something that you guys can watch whenever you need reassurance and listen to whenever you're feeling that panic. Um, because when you are going through a breakup and when you are getting over somebody, you go through certain stages and you go through panic and you go through feelings of doubt and insecurity and it's almost like a really big shock to your ego because it's like if this one person can leave me and doesn't want me i must be useless nobody will ever want me and that's just not true you existed by yourself totally fine and okay without this person at one point it's about finding that version of you that is okay without this person and bringing that person back to life Basically, I found Loma's videos. They were the things that I think that helped me the most, like to regain confidence in myself. Especially because, of course, I had my best friends, but none of them suffered from breakup before. So when I was watching Loma's vlogs, um, it really was like listening to a best friend. That's why they had a lot of impact and that helped me a lot to regain confidence in myself. Before going deeper in the subject um, about how the breakup happened, I'm just gonna sum up how we met. So basically we were living in the same student residence and we were living on the same floor. She moved in um, like six months after me and we were living actually what was for me the perfect relationship. Um, we were having dinner together every day, we were like traveling together, um, having a lot of time together, maybe that was toxic at some point, but well. Um, I mean, things were doing pretty good. And then I moved to the US. One month after I moved in, in my new place in the US, she came to visit. During the three or four last days of her stay, um, she was crying a lot. And I did the best I could, honestly. After she went back to France, like we were FaceTiming each other every day. And then um, I think that she felt like she didn't need me at some point. She told me, actually, you're not here and I'm a friend and I don't know, and it hurt me a lot. So I think that's the closure I need. I don't have to like chase for answers or something. Um, she left me for a reason. You began to acknowledge the fact that she isn't coming back. I was basically having panic attacks every day. I was crying all day long. I thought that it was all my fault, but a relationship goes both ways so everyone has a part of responsibility and since I was living in a new city I didn't have like many friends there so I was dealing with it by myself and I'm here to tell you even if you're by yourself you can get out of this I know that you are really hurt I know that you're really upset and I know that you're seeking reassurance you are gonna get through this you are not going to die and you're not gonna never get over this person you are gonna be okay. It's just gonna take time. It takes time. You are currently approaching the situation with anxiety. You feel really doubtful that you're ever gonna be able to fall in love again. You feel really hurt. And that is because our self-esteem takes a massive hit after a breakup. We feel rejection, insecure, overwhelmed. And how you're gonna get through this breakup is you're gonna slowly nourish your self-esteem and pick yourself back up. And there's no five minute fix to that. It is not going to take two weeks. It could take you two months. It could take you six months. I'm not saying you're gonna be sitting there in pain, like agonizing pain for the whole six months. And then one day you're gonna wake up and be like, ah. Would you look at that? I feel great. No, it actually happens slowly. This might hurt to hear, but it's just the truth and I keep it real on this YouTube channel. Um, for me, I would say I truly, truly 100% got over my breakup, probably like six months after it happened, but I started to feel a lot better three months after. But everybody is totally different and everybody goes through breakups very differently. I think for me, I went through it like really bad the first two, three months where I was just crying and crying and crying and I was constantly, you know, thinking about my ex all the time. I was anxiously by my phone waiting for him to text me, you know, asking my friend, should I text him? Should I send him a message? What should I do? I need to fix this. The only thing that is going to get rid of that feeling is time and there are other things that you can do to make yourself feel better but you know you could go on a hike every single day you could work out 24 7 be distracted by friends you could do everything in the whole wide world that people online say help get you through a breakup 
But when you get back home, when you catch a minute to yourself, you are going to feel like shit and you are going to cry and it is okay to cry. It won't be easy. It will cost a lot of your energy, a lot of your time. So don't be hard on yourself. Allow yourself to feel the emotions you're feeling because in the long run it will help you heal faster and it will come with the healing process. How did I feel and what did I go to? Well, I felt like shit, like in the most open way possible. I felt like shit. There's nothing you can do about it because that person was in your life and there's no way your brain is going to forget about her or him. Crying lets your emotions out. And after that, once your eyes have given up, pick yourself up, motivate yourself to do something. Focus on your life. That's how it goes. You just have to make a peace with it, honestly. I guess I would say be patient with yourself. You know, feel whatever you have to feel through at the moment. Do whatever you have to do in order to heal and feel your emotions. We are humans. But just know that everything happens for a reason and things do get better. Um, and it might not make sense right now, but eventually it does. I poured my heart and soul into that relationship. It was heartbreaking because at a young age, I lost my mom and... I definitely identified the breakup and my mourning feelings at the, as the same thing because what felt like is that person died and so I let myself mourn and feel whatever I had to feel. I think that definitely helped me move on. It is okay to mourn the loss of this person because when somebody leaves you or when somebody is not in your life anymore, it truly feels like a death. It feels like, I know it sounds so dramatic, but it does. It feels like the person that you once knew so well is not in your life anymore. So you're literally like mourning the death of somebody that's still alive. It's really weird. And breakups, you know, really hurt for that reason because you want that person back so bad, but that version of them only existed in your head when you guys were still together, you know? So it's kind of like you've tied your happiness to this person. And now that they're gone, your happiness is gone. You feel like they are the only person that can bring you back this happiness. But the truth is, this person that has broken your heart and is no longer in your life is not the cause or the solution for your pain. If somebody was supposed to be with you, they wouldn't leave you. I truly believe that. I don't believe in right person, wrong timing. The second that that person wakes up and chooses and makes the conscious decision that they don't wanna be in your life is the second that they've done you a massive favor. And I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but believe it, they've walked out of your life. That doesn't mean that there is not somebody else out there that will not walk in and give you everything that you deserve. But it's not about finding that person. It's about finding yourself. And the reason I said they're no longer the cause or the solution for your pain, this person that's broken your heart, is because I know that I was going through my breakup really bad because I didn't know how to be alone. I'd been living with this person and spending so much time with him. I, I couldn't even picture or imagine my life moving forward without him. It had been so long that we were together. I was so used to his company and his energy and just him that I literally didn't even know myself. And that is why I say they are no longer the cause or the solution for your pain. This is about you. This is about the fact that you can't be alone by yourself. You were not brought into this world to be joined at the hip with somebody and to rely on them for your happiness and for your comfort, okay? Because I believe, and I, I've said this in the past as well, a relationship is like two cakes. You are the icing for each other's cake, right? And with me, with my ex, it wasn't like that. I didn't have my own identity. I didn't even realize this, but Going through my breakup, I realized like my future and my happiness and my comfort was him. And so when he left me, he took everything. He took all of that away from me. The future that I saw, my self-esteem, my happiness. I was completely broken and felt like I was never gonna be okay. There is no specific day where I woke up and I was just over my ex. Every single day, a tiny bit of you heals and gets better. I believe that you watching this right now don't see it, but this is going to be the best thing that's ever happened to you. I felt like nobody understood what I was going through. I felt like oh, nobody had the connection that me and my ex had. You know, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of people going through a breakup right now. So many people have gone through this. People go through divorces where there's kids involved, you know? People go through 
a breakup where they were once living with somebody and they have to move out and go through that change. Just because it hurts so bad and just because it feels like you're never gonna get over it does not mean that you are not ever going to get over it, okay? You need to understand, your ego is hurt. You want the validation. You want this person to come back to validate you. Deep down, you probably know that after this betrayal, after they've left you like this, them coming back doesn't even fix the problem. It's actually the greatest turnoff of all time for somebody to leave. It is the greatest departure from your soulmate. You're searching for validation in the wrong thing. You're searching for it in somebody that clearly doesn't want to be with you, that's made the decision to leave you. You need to break out of the mindset that you are better because of your partner. You need to redirect your energy back to yourself. You do not need this person to survive. Remind yourself, wanting someone and needing someone are two different things. You never need anybody. You should never need anybody because the only way a relationship will flourish is if two people are okay on their own but want each other. You don't need anybody. You want that person. But it doesn't mean that you can't survive without them and it doesn't mean that you won't get over them. So you're gonna do the no contact rule, right? There's a lot of videos about this on, um, YouTube and I want to be really careful with how I talk about this because those videos kind of give a lot of false hope And I used to watch those videos when I was going through my breakup talking about you know Don't contact your ex how to get your ex back blah blah blah. You are not going to contact your ex You are in a desperate stage right now And let me tell you I know it's not going to be easy because somebody told me not to contact my ex for three months and It was the hardest shit ever. I literally was sitting by my phone just like constantly dying to text him like I couldn't you know I couldn't even function without thinking about it I just felt like messaging him was gonna save everything I felt like sending him a big text about how I feel and how much I love him and begging for him back was gonna make him come back and the truth is that is the worst thing you can do for this situation they are not gonna come back it is going to take time that's why I always say the road to getting them back and the road to moving on is the same road you do not text them give yourself three months Okay, what I did was, oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking about this on the internet, but what I did was I wrote a letter that I had planned on sending my ex um, three months later, because my therapist was like, write a letter, don't send it now. You are in this desperate, needing, lacking energy where his reply is going to make or break you and you're just too upset right now to do that. So write this letter, work on yourself, give yourself time to heal. If you still want to send it in three months time, then, send it to him. Three months came about and I still like loved him and felt sad, but I didn't want to send him the letter anymore because I kind of like started to restore myself and realize this person is making the decision to not be with me every single day. It's been three months. He doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't want to hear from me. So therefore he doesn't deserve my letter telling him how much I love him and want to make it work. I would rather give somebody else that energy and that love that deserves it, that loves me the same way that I love them. It is a beautiful thing that you have a heart so big that you love this person so much and you're even on this video right now watching, you know, how to feel better, how to get over someone. It just proves that you're human and that you feel and that's our whole human experience is our feelings. But on the other side of this sadness and this pain is an incredible version of you that has gone through um, a really important lesson and character development that will therefore make you the perfect version of yourself that is ready for the perfect relationship because you will have gone through this. This feeling you're going through is for something. It is bigger than you could ever imagine because once you go through something like this, no breakup is ever going to hurt quite the same. And I'm not saying that You'll never go through a breakup again and that it won't hurt. It's just never gonna hurt like this. Now, something that I want you to do is I want you to write yourself reassurance notes. I really got into writing. I actually have this journal here. I wrote a lot while I was going through my breakup. I'm just reading a few notes to remind myself of things I wanna talk about because while I was going through it, I would reassure myself and write myself notes. Write yourself things that you didn't like about the relationship because when you go through a breakup, and when you're trying to get over somebody, your brain plays like a highlight reel of all the best moments. And you know, you, you look through the photos and you're like, oh my God, that was such a perfect moment. You just really like glorify the relationship. But even if you love this person so much unconditionally and saw them in your life forever, there were things that you didn't like about the relationship. There are always things that can be improved. 
Nobody enjoys going into no contact, but it is just the best thing that you need to do. You want your ex to understand the weight of their decision. And people always say to me, Luma, what if they realize that it's better without me while I'm not contacting them? If that's the fear that you're holding on to, then remember that you are human, okay? It's normal to feel that way. If your partner doesn't get to experience life without you, how can they ever come to the conclusion that they might have made the wrong decision? But I don't actually like to sit here and talk about how to get an ex back. I truly believe that through no contact and not reaching out to an ex, you will slowly, day by day, start to realize that you're better off without them. In the beginning, you feel like you're never gonna be okay and you're always gonna want this person back. And as the time goes by, slowly, day by day, parts of you start to forget about what it was like being so in love with them and you kind of start to have new experiences and feel happier doing new things. And then as the months go by, you actually feel better off without them, more excited for the future and more excited to meet somebody else. And you might not think that that even exists in your future right now. Trust me, don't even try and tell me that I don't know how you feel. I was sitting around crying every single day, okay? I told all my friends, I was like, I'm never gonna get over it. Honestly, I have done my absolute best in keeping my ex very private because I don't want anybody to send him any hate because I don't hate him. He's not a horrible person for choosing to break up with me. What I want to say is I'm only talking about this, what I'm about to say, because I think it is very crucial in helping, you know, you guys watching this understand just how healed you're going to be and just how healed you can be if you take my advice. My ex actually did come back after a few months and he was telling me I really want to fix the problems we once had and I want to try and get back and all this stuff. And um, he wanted to meet up with me. He would message me from time to time. And you know, at first I would like, kind of give in to his breadcrumbs and reply, but then eventually I just, I just realized like I'm just better off without him. I never thought I would ever get to the place where I'd be able to say that. Like my ex came back and I didn't want him back, but it's just what happened. And I believe that 99.9% .9 of the time with all of you watching this, you will end up realizing that your life is better off without that person and you won't even want them back. So even if they come back, even if the no contact rule works, you won't even want them. Why would you want somebody that has to break up with you, see if the grass is greener on the other side or go out there and do whatever and then regret their decision and come back? Respect yourself better than to be somebody's backup plan. So don't even bother asking me, do you believe that people can get back together? I believe they can. Do I believe that they should? No because if somebody was meant to be your soulmate, they would be with you right now. So I don't believe sitting around doing the no contact rule just for the sole purpose of this person coming back is healthy. It's not healthy. You do not know what life is gonna bring for you. I'm just having a moment right now because I kind of would sit in this position here when I would record those video diaries and I would talk about how sad I was and how I just felt really down and wow you guys like I have never felt so alive and so amazing I am so so happy ready to love ready to be loved ready to travel ready to live my best life and I couldn't even be sad about my ex if you paid me to be and that is the beauty about healing and going through it is you will get through it I wish that I could show you how incredible you're going to be in just a few months. In a year's time, you're going to be totally different. You won't even think about this person. In fact, you'll laugh that you were this upset about them. Thank you, Luma, for the video. The timing was perfect. And it's like I'm talking to you over the ocean. It's like you're in Australia, I'm in Portugal, and you helped me so much. It's incredible. It's so rare to find genuine and amazing creators that actually want to be connected to people and not just do it because of the fame or the money or, you know, anything like that. And the same way that all of you say that I, you know, help you get through your negative situations, I want to say that you guys help me too. This is the beginning to the best version of yourself. Believe it, okay? I love you and I'll see you guys very soon.